everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 Cargo Line Volume 1 Petroleum Gameplay New Thing Tea Tanker Pack Video. Um, but yeah, we're on we're at Derby and we're in a bit of an unexpected thing you can do, which is you can run one of the uh, Cargo Line uh, Petroleum services with a Class 52 or the West Somerset Railway 47 uh, and also West Somerset Railway 52, uh, which actually is sort of realistic because I didn't know but in I think 2018 uh, GBRF hired out a 52 to do runs uh, I don't know if it was actually here I don't, think, I don't think it was here but somewhere they did so sort of realistic and quite cool as well um, so let's get the train set up which it's been just literally years since we've driven this train so do give me a bit of time just to sort of get it all set up as it's just been ages since we've jumped on this train been ages AWS um, then it's just set to I think air brake oh is it air brakes? air brakes I think air brakes goods uh, hopefully it is uh, AWS where was that it's not on the other side is it but western pioneer for this one so this uh, 52 comes from diesel legends no, it will be the other side. Or will it? Yeah, it's back back on the other side. So we've all got the uh, already got the signal. Let's do fairly quick. AWS. Oh yeah, you're top down there, aren't you? There you are. Come here. Uh, let's get this all set up. So we got the instrument lights. Train classification, headlights, where were they? I did see them somewhere. I did see, I had seen them. Headlights on. Uh, I think that's about it for setting up. I don't think we've forgotten anything. So we'll start getting the brakes off. I think, yeah, I think air brakes are correct for this. Yeah, the brakes are coming off. Good, um, and we're going to be making our way over to Nottingham. Look at this, though. I wonder how that hasn't come on. The uh, head code or train classification hasn't come on. So that probably should come on. But maybe it can't recognise what service we're doing. But it should then say, well, 6 Echo 46, I suppose. Oh, no, it's modern day, so no. It's fine, that'll be definitely GSMR and all. Right, um,. But back in the day, you'd have the head code on the front there. That was quite easy getting going. It's got the weirdest horn to it. But yeah, this train has two engines. Which makes it sort of a bit special. How do we get that other headlight on? It's got the one on that side on. Hmm. Well, we got, we got it on anyway. Maybe we can't. Well, we are off. Top speed 60 miles an hour. I wonder if this will actually perform better than the 66. I'll turn the audio up a bit as well. Okay, so that. Yeah. Probably didn't expect to see this train on here, but here it is. A 52 mm. hauling. Well, modern petroleum, I suppose. And that would be a little bit further. Why are we like in the roof? Oh, I know why. There we go. So we were crouched, I think, when we first went in. Here's up a bit. Up to uh, 30. This is actually doing really well. I mean, this might actually be performing better than what the 66 does, although saying that. We are only empties, so we're only 806 tons, we're not like 2,800 tons, so that, that's probably right. Yeah, I'm I don't know how this can perform fully loaded, probably worse than the 66. Look at that, look the train, so it's still literally when they come back. Press it 
button. I've, I've pressed the button multiple times. No. No. This doesn't work. Doesn't work. So you can see that it's doing it, but it's not. And now it does it. So that is a bug. I might, have, I might, I might turn that off then. See, I was pressing, I was pressing the button, then it just didn't do it. So now we'll keep it on. Uh, do we? Let's see what it does. Now we'll, I think we'll turn it on. So yeah, I was clicking it. I suppose you have to, you have to click it like that. Oh well. So it did actually, it had issues on the diesel legends. Oh, great. Not fair. Yeah, this is the middle of the main line upgraded. Or, well, just basically updated middle of the main line. Uh, if you haven't seen the other videos, this guy has released a massive update for it. So it actually looks quite good now. speed in this, well, 60. Now I'll be to see what the brakes are like. With well, an empty train should be just fine. Shouldn't have any issue. But yeah, just remember, wait, if you are driving this train, just set the brake um, brakes to air brakes. Air brakes good. Because otherwise you probably won't get very far. It feels weird to be back on it. The Western. And to see it on a modern route. Well, what we're calling now. Almost at top speed. Let's get a flyby shot going through Sponden. Should look cool. It's like a really cool train and it's the horn, it's like me, me, it's a German train on. So you get a really cool looking train and the horn's just like, what? Well, there you go, we're now at top speed. We'll try and get a nice screenshot on the, um, the curve of track when we head off towards Nottingham. Should look quite good in the sun there. There you go, now we basically sit and do nothing. Until we get to Long Eaton, well, before Long Eaton, we'll start slowing down for the 10 mile an hour limit, which 
which then takes you to the left across the junction. Now at some point we'll then run the 47 on here. Although I might, I know, I'll probably wait to do the 47 on Great Western Express as, as of recording this, uh, the Great, we uh, Great Western Express services are broken. So I'll wait for them to be fixed and do the 47 on there. So I'll get a bit of Great Western action. Ten miles an hour for the HST. As well, this is the Midland Mainline route, so you get the HST and the 158. And now this DLC, uh, which is both for the Midland Mainline and the Great Western Mainline, so it's sort of a double whammy. And look, you can already see the power station. It's still what? Three, four miles away? Maybe a bit less than that. And you can already see it. Which is just fantastic because before it used to be probably what? Half a mile away from it. It just spawns in. It's like, really? Good. That's right from like the maximum distance possible now. And that she has no negative impact on performance. I don't know, it wasn't really like in the first place, but oh well. This is one of the uh, substitutes. Let's see, this probably should be a class 66, but again, if you own Diesel Legends or the West Somerset Railway 52, you can run it on the service on here. And I think the one GBRF actually uh, rented or hired was the Maroon one. It's the one which is on West Somerset Railway. I don't know if it was specifically that one, but one of the uh, 52s. Too far to a long eating. Not too far off. Yeah, thanks all for coming in. I was just I was just checking my work roster then. I was like, um, it's tomorrow I'm back to work, and I was just just in case it's not today. I was just checking it was uh, it was tomorrow. Be yeah, almost at Long Eaton, and we'll sort of be making a sharp left, and then we sort of head up towards uh, Nottingham. And then from there, from here to Nottingham, it's not that far. Yellow, so we'll start. We'll test the brakes now. I can't remember them being that bad on the 52. Although we are empties. Yeah, they're all right. As so we start slowing down for that. Nice bit of speed there on the 52 we got. On the Western. Probably also would have made sense to run it on Great Western Express, but hey ho. So at the moment, the services are broken on there. Stopped on the other side of Long Eaton. 
That's it, it's just, I oh know it's approach control, that's what it is, it's approach control. Can't assume it's approach control, but it is approach control. So we're really slowly up to the 10 miles an hour limit, which is fine, it's 10 miles an hour. Still see the power station very nicely. And this is Long Eaton Station. I will get the sun visor down, but it just won't really make any difference, see? Totally pointless. So we've just got to put up with the sun. Hello, people of Long Eaton. We're here. Not for long, though. Red light will be just round the corner, and then once we get round there, it's in uh, Beeston, no, Attenborough, Beeston, and then Nottingham. I don't know about it wants to stop at Nottingham, whether it's in the platforms or sort of just past Nottingham. Not too sure where it said uh, it wanted us. Yeah, that's now changed, but it is 10 miles an hour. So, uh, so. Well, 10 miles an hour, a bit further up, yeah. Speed up just a tiny bit. I don't know how long these trains are. 501 yards long, I believe these are. Well, plenty longer for a UK uh, train. That is the EMR uh, livery, but EMR is not actually officially in the game. That's just from Creators Club. It's sort of realistic to be seeing it. So, put that down. Oh, 15. Is it not 10? It's definitely 10 coming the other way. Not 15, even better then. Lights are shining on that yellow. I know. I, I think this has been quite enjoyable. I, I'm actually enjoying the um, the petroleum runs. I mean, I'm still recording this on launch day, but I know it just adds a bit more to the middle and main line. Or maybe more. I'm just enjoying the middle and main line update. The update to it just makes it look great. But then it, it's, it is fun doing these services they're challenging. A lot of freight services on the game, the UK ones, just aren't really that challenging. But these ones, especially the fully loaded ones, it's quite a challenge. Right, let's try and get a uh, some form of screenshot. Four off the corner. Well, you got all the tree there. trees there. Trees are sort of in the way. I think we'll get another one in the further around. Get up to 30 as well now. No problem getting up to 30. And that goes nicely.
Where else does it want us to stop then at Nottingham? Let's have a look. Okay, at the end of the platform. Good. And we know. Right, let's try and get another shot now. Now that sun's a little bit out of the way. So it really does shine against the... Well, really, you really want it on a corner, though. That's where you want it. That's where it looks best. I thought the 52 sort of is almost like the same shape as the tank is. It's just not one of those good like trains to take in shots of. Especially in these sort of, um, sort of weather where it's sort of shining really you know, hits the uh, front. We will get a shot. Try again now. It's like a photo mode stream, right? Let's uh, let's take the foot, let's take that back to back to there a bit. Just something at least. Even that, it's just it's one of those. It just doesn't look fantastic. This doesn't pick it up as much. Thirty. We'll speed up fairly soon. Let's get that now. Start speeding up. One last go in photo mode. Once we get past the signal, let's try and get just a nicer shot. Maybe even that. Should we just go over that? Doesn't look as dim then. Now you've got the trees, but. That looks a little bit better. There. That's the one. That's the one. Done. No more photo mode, I swear. I'd say 24 minutes instead. It's been almost 24 minutes now. We're not that far off. Well, certainly the other one said 28 minutes, and then that ended up being about 38 minutes. And are we holding up any other trains? We are not. No, not yet, at least. That one for HST to come up behind. So up there. We're coming up on Attenborough Station. Yeah, these were the trains um, for the HST, these were the Westerns. HSC sort of replace these. These are like the real deal. There's Attenborough. Or at least on the Great Western Main Line. Hence the name Westerns. Right now we just coast it. And that's 60. Is our top speed. is 60 miles an hour. And B 
Beeston station isn't that far, much further up than Beeston. I think it's sort of two miles to Nottingham. It does make a nice difference because the video we recorded before this was probably the one maybe yesterday. The last uh, one we did. Um, well, yeah, it was a bit of a struggle trying to get going, break in, but it's nice to actually finally have an empties. Well, that HSC stopped at Beeston. That was early morning, isn't it? So, yeah, probably. Very close to the edge there. Yeah, Nottingham is the next stage on our arm. That will be uh, journey's end for uh, for this video. But hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. And yeah, been good fun so far on this DLC. Just hope they can get the Great Western services sorted. But by the time this video goes out, they might now be sorted. It's on the PlayStation, there's an issue, might not be on Xbox. Yeah, comment below, what do you think of this DLC? Has it reached your expectations? Is it sort of over expect yeah. What do you think of it? I do think well. I don't know. I, d I did personally think it would be about £4.99 and it's turned out to be £9.99. I did think it was going to be a little bit less. Is that a shopping centre now? What is that? Is that a shopping centre? No. Some sort of industrial estate. Right, let's uh, start getting the brakes on. Well, we know they're pretty decent, so that's uh, that's good. And just round here is Nottingham, and I think it's 25 miles an hour into Nottingham. I'll start getting that slowed down. Yeah, look, we don't really have to worry about the brakes too much on this one as well. Just empty, running light. Again. Yeah, a little fun is it a fun fact, but um Dovetail Games Adam, I'm sure we all loved and adored, who was a uh, part of the preservation crew, who basically just updated all of the old routes to TSW three two slash three standards. Uh Dovetail Games Adam now works for Skycat Games little fact of the day. I think this one's approach control here as well. Although I shouldn't assume it's approach control. I assume we're going to have to come to a stop. Yeah, now on the approach to Nottingham, our final final destination. What is the speed limit for this? That'd be 15. 25? Oh, 40. Oh, that's right then. Oh, we go. 
little 30 there. Is that no, 50, 50? Can't be right now. Right to the end of the platform, then there'll be a driver change, and this will then go on to Lindsay Oil Refinery. Platform one. That's twenty-five. Which is, yeah, twenty-five into uh, Nottingham. Felt like a really long journey that. Usually it doesn't feel like that, but like went on for ages. But we are here now anyway. I haven't got the other ones yet, the red ones. I don't know if I had the red ones. No, I, don't, I don't think I've had the red ones yet. I don't know if it's random to which ones you get, but I just need to get the blue ones lots. Yeah, I've had the blue and grey ones. I don't think I've had the... I've seen the green ones. I, I haven't seen the red ones. Or have I? I don't think so. coming in as well. I'm right to the end here. Well, yeah, another enjoyable run there from uh, Derby to Nottingham, which I think all of the tankers... I don't think there's anyone which go down to Leicester. Well, I haven't seen any yet which go down that way. Well, there is a scenario there where you can go down there. Not go up from there. Be all right. Might count that. And yes, it did count. Cool. Well, there we go. Uh, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's uh, Train Sim World 4 video on the Cargo Petroleum Pack uh, here on the Midland Main Line. Links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I'll see you all next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.